What's up guys? Today we're uh, going to try to do some waterfowl photography. We're out along this river that runs right through the heart of town. It's finally spring in Alaska, which means that the migration has kind of begun. So uh, I was here yesterday night and there was no exaggeration, probably like two or three hundred mallards. So uh, I plan on heading on down there, getting into the water, throwing the waders on, and uh, seeing if we can get some pretty cool waterfowl pictures. So let's head on down there and do it. Oh my goodness, they're still all here, hanging out. Um, the people who run this little area, um, they lay down uh, this hay year round, and uh, I believe they actually feed them as well, because um, we have a, a group of ducks that stays in Fairbanks through the entire winter, and uh, they would surely die or migrate out of here if they weren't getting fed, so. Um, this is a big congregation area. When uh, all the migrating birds come back, they always end up here, and uh, they are mating. Mating is in full swing, so uh, let's get the waders on and uh, try to get some pretty cool images of these uh, mallards. They are just everywhere. So these are actually my uh, fly fishing waders, and uh, what's so nice is they're, uh, they're the neoprene kind, and they have their thousand gr uh, gram insulation, so uh, they're incredibly warm. They're just all around right now, hanging out with each other. So, I mean, the lighting today is mediocre, but uh, the subject's just, the subject's just so cool that uh, I figure why not just go out and have some fun, you know? No one's around, it's just me and the mallards. So, hopefully we get some cool images. So I haven't used these since last season, so uh, definitely gonna make sure they're still waterproof before I go uh, carrying all that camera gear out into the river. That would be hilarious. This is when that thousand gram insulation really comes in because it is cold water. This stuff's just recently broken up, so yeah, still feels good, still feels waterproof. So uh, let's get the gear in there and start getting some pictures. Guess another tip is uh, I always bring the tripod in first, never with the camera on top of it until I get it situated, for obvious reasons. So uh, I'm just gonna wait out there and uh, get everything set up. All right, so if you look, if you look what we got right there. It's literally just the tripod head sticking out of the water. I'm gonna go get the big lens. I'm gonna get it set up in there and then uh, wait and see what happens. Definitely gonna be leaving the vlogging camera on the shore though, so let's get the camera set up and uh, see what we can get into. And this is all really just to get that low perspective.
So uh, honestly, just sitting here and uh, just capturing the ducks as they move around me. If you look, there's still ice breaking up from a little bit more up the stream. So uh, this gives you any idea how cold this water is and why this uh, insulation is so important. <laughs> it's just ice everywhere. Oh my goodness, but what I'm waiting for is I'm waiting for them to start flying. I really want to get some of the, um, the flight of the ducks. Right now there's, uh, there's evergreens all around so you can get this really nice dark background um, and since it's an overcast day you can get a, a really nice uh, soft light on the, on the ducks. Kind of making for a, a cool image. Here they come. Kind of settling, uh, settling down now that I've been sitting here for a few minutes. They're coming down the river right at me, right over the top too. And they're fast, so stinking fast. Uh, pigeons, and crows. There's just so much activity right around this portion of the river. Got some coming in right above us. Brought you guys back in here with me. Um, this is the ducks actively trying to mate right now. And uh, we're just set up in here trying to capture all that. Got the, the lens set up right here and uh, getting some really cool images. It's my favorite time of the year. Actually, I lied. Fall's my favorite time of the year. But spring is a close second with all these birds that migrate up into Alaska. So uh, they're all taken off out of here. So uh, I'm gonna go set you back up on the shore and uh, keep trying to get some images. Just really uh, the best thing that I can recommend is just doing things that uh, not too many other people are doing to give your images just just a little bit of a, of a separation make your stuff look just a little bit different and getting out into the water and shooting against the bank and shooting them coming in is really gonna um, set your images apart so um, I'm gonna set this camera down I'm gonna do some more photography and then uh, we'll head on back throw them up on the computer and uh, see how they turn out hopefully you guys enjoyed it today um, throw the images up and uh, See you guys in the next one. <laughs> Cheers.